I was one of those kids who inspired the phrase, children should be seen and not heard. As an adult, I still get yelled at by the internet for frequently speaking my mind. Problem? Today on Tabletop, my friends Matt Myra, Jonah Ray, and Josh Kagan are here to play a game where speaking your mind does not put you in the timeout chair. It might just put you in the winner's circle. I hope you're not easily offended, because today we are going to say anything. The basic mechanic of say anything is very simple. You write down something funny, then you say something funny to support it. For those of you who missed it, one more time. You write down something funny, funny because it's true, then you say something funny to defend it. Actually, there's a little bit more to it than that. Every round, someone is a judge. The judge draws a card and asks a question. All of the players write down an answer to that question. The judge chooses his favorite answer and then locks it in using the Selectomatic 5000. The players try to guess which answer the judge chose. Guess correctly and you get a point. First player to 12 points wins the game. Get ready to say anything. I'm Josh A. Kagan and I am a screenwriter. My name is Jonah Ray, and I am a stand-up comedian and one of the co-hosts of the Nerdist podcast. Uh, my name is Matt Myra. I am a comedian and a host, uh, co-host of the Nerdist podcast. I also am a producer on Attack of the Show on G4. Those of you who are experienced Say Anything players will notice that we're using a slightly alternative scoring system today. Uh, those of you who are also experienced gamers will know this as the house rule. I find that this is a much more fun way to play Say Anything, so uh, don't send your angry letters to me. Send them to the person next to you. Uh, Jonah, you're gonna go first. Hooray! So uh, let's play Say Anything. Here's a card for you. Jonah, choose a question and ask it. I am hungover, so I think I should have an extra three points just to start with, but no one seemed to agree with me. What's the worst song of all time? Don't you hate Radiohead? Are you that guy that hates Radiohead? Are you, are you talking about overrated Dio head? That's the one. Okay, yes. thanks. I think yeah. I know what my answer is. <laughs> <laughs> It could be anything. You can, you can pick any Stone Temple Pilots song, really. <laughs> Are you writing out the music as well? I am. I'm yeah. Just, yeah. Just one more trouble clef and... All right. I have my answer. Everybody, now we will now reveal what our answers are. Okay. I chose the Dave Matthews cover of The Benz featuring Stone Temple Pilots. Wow, that is... <laughs> well, you uh, just made it right up, didn't you? Well, I'm pandering to the judge. There you go. That's, the perfect, that's the perfect storm of... It really That's, is, yeah. right? Okay, so good luck, guys. Matt, what did you choose? Uh, who let the dogs out? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Really? Uh, I, I cho chose uh, Bush's Glycerine. Oh. Ooh, that's a pretty horrible Which song. Which is a like really bad oh, song. Actually, it's not that bad of a song. What, really? Uh, how well do I know this game? Uh, we dated for about six months in college, and we haven't seen each other since, so it's a little awkward today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these out in the middle there. Jonah, you're gonna choose which one you believe is the absolute worst song ever recorded. All right. I got uh, it. Having locked that in on the Selectomatic 5000, right we here, will yeah. now uh, judge. Clearly, the right answer is there. So uh, go ahead and place your uh, place your your guesses. See, I don't. That's not a real song. Yeah. If it was, it's on, it's it on, a, it's on awesome. a record. Do you not like to have imaginative fun? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to be locked into a world of gray? Yep. All right. And dogs. Oh. <laughs> It's just such a terrible song, and he gets to do it with Gwen Stefani, so right there. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, that's right. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's find out from Jonah which one of us gets points. So all of you guys had very good choices, except for Matt, who's wrong most of the time. <laughs> uh, Bush's Glycerin, it's catchy, it's nice. It's a nice song to listen to. I don't turn it off when it comes on the radio. Okay. But in a horrible world where that middle song exists, 
That would have to be my go. So I'm gonna go with. That's two points for Wheaton. He jumps out to an early lead. We. Now, those of you who are watching at home who have played Say Anything before, you know that that uh, there's a lot of other scoring that happens in the game. But as I said, we are house ruling this. Uh, this is the way we play at cons when we're drunk. So it's the way we play on tabletop when we're not. Okay, Matt, go ahead, draw a card, ask a question. I don't know this game at all. This morning, though, I learned a little bit about it, and it turns out I'm pretty good at it. So we don't know each other that well, but we're getting to know each other, and I'm okay with it. Here's a good one. What's the funniest movie of all time? What's the funniest movie of all time? Schindler's. <laughs> Are you writing the script to the funniest movie of all time? Diary. I want to know how many times we can make a joke about a long time to take the right We're going to find out. That's two. That's two. All right, let's reveal. Uh, Jonah, why don't you go ahead and reveal? All right, I went with the uh, Nicolas Cage classic, Bad Lieutenant, Ports of Call, New Orleans. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you've ever seen it, but it is quite possibly the funniest movie ever made. Um, I chose a film that uh, the video store in La Crescenta refused to rent to us until one of us had an ID that claimed we were 18. Faces of Death Part oh. Three. Oh. Is that the oh, one with uh, one. Is that the one with Bud Dwyer? Yeah, it's oh, it's yeah, really yeah. it's a good one. Yeah. All uh, right, Kagan. I, uh, I I decided to live in that gray literal world, and I went with. Top secret exclamation oh. point. Oh, oh top secret's so. a very funny it's movie. It's a very funny movie. It's, it's terrific. Right. Here's, a, here's a fun fact. There's a similar actor in both of these movies. Really? Yeah. Is it the cow that gets the blow up? Exactly. It's the yeah. cow. Yeah. Yeah. cow. It's the little German. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. This is a tough one. I, I'm gonna hedge. I'm hedging. I don't think Faces of Death is really that funny. No. Well, uh, it, it's it is kind when you're of a funny. kid. When you're it's a kid. hilarious yeah, yeah. when you're a kid. Yeah. The Blu-ray Faces of Death is excellent. Yeah, you can really see the monkey I don't brails. know. They kind of phoned oh, in yeah. the commentary. <laughs> no, literally, be because they were in prison. <laughs> <laughs> this used to be all about the death. Now it isn't anymore. <laughs> now it's about the faces. <laughs> yeah. Who needs it? All right. The, uh, the all right. correct answer here. Is bad, Lieutenant. Hey. Oh, Port of New Orleans. So blue gets a point. Yellow gets a point, and green gets a point. Wow, blue God, is blue steaming is really ahead. Blue is yeah. blue is already one quarter of the way there. Almost it's like it's almost. his show or something. Yeah. Will is a sneaky bastard. It's his show, so it's he wins at being Will Wheaton and very handsome. I'd like some more points, please. <laughs> A genie just granted me a wish. What should I ask for? Jonah, that was fast. Yeah. He's been thinking about this for a while. <laughs> you guys don't constantly think about this all the time? <clears throat> All right. all right, Jonah, go ahead, show us. I went for more wishes. Oh, a mm. classic. Yeah, mm. a classic. A classic, it, it really, more it, wishes. It does work. Yes, they have okay. To, they have to grant it to you. All right, uh, all right. Matt? I went, forget the last three Star Wars. Oh. Oh! Wow, that's really good. Yeah. 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 Okay, Kagan? This is a pretty obvious one, but I went with a George Foreman grill with George Foreman to cook for you. Uh, like he just comes, he just comes over to your house. He just comes over and he makes sandwiches and he talks about his kids, George, George, and George. And I think that'd be a hoot. Um, <laughs> I, would, I would, I would actually wish that the motorcycle gang stops driving up and down on the street in that's front actually, of the studio. That's actually was would be one of my more wishes. That would be one of yeah, wishes. Yeah. Okay, my vote is locked in. So let's uh, let's go ahead and vote. Yeah. There actually is a correct answer to this question, and the correct answer is actually on the board. Since I was a little kid. This is something that I've obsessively thought about. And the correct answer is <laughs> more wishes. Man, why did I go against my own, my own because idea? Because if I used more wishes, I get more wishes. Then I just use one of those wishes to get the George Foreman grill. Then I use another one of those wishes to forget the last three Star Wars movies. All right, sadly, no points are awarded that round. All right, Kagan. Damn my brilliance. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's your question? What? would be the dumbest thing to say in a job interview. What would be the dumbest thing? You look pretty satisfied. Yeah, I feel like if I were to say this, I would not get the job. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's go ahead and reveal our answers. I think we'll just. I think it's working great to start with you. So right. go ahead and show show your answer. All right, cool. This is the worst thing uh, I could think to say to uh, in a job interview. Is that a picture of your daughter? Nice. How old is she? <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Matt. Uh, I would go with your tits are splendid. <laughs> Regardless of gender? Doesn't matter. There you go. <laughs> we all live in the same headspace. <laughs> because my, my, my thing would be, sorry I'm late, I was having sex with your spouse. <laughs> and worded exactly like that. It's a combination of what's something else I yeah. almost went for. Tough. These are all awful yeah, these things are all to really say. horrible, yeah. terrible things to say. Um, I have, have you chosen? I have made have you my decision. A, have you chosen a favorite? Okay. So, all right. on it. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going with mine. I think, I think that I'm right. Uh, me. 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 I'm gonna ride me too. What a selfish game we've yep. got going on here. <laughs> I'm gonna ride me too. Well, <laughs> saddle yourself up for two because... Oh! Yes. This, this is two points for Orange. Yes. Orange has significantly cut into Blue's lead. Good work. All right, All right, we'll draw our things back. All right, Jonah, there you go. Sorry, my dads are really having fun today out there. <laughs> Did you say my dads? Yeah. All right. Okay, Jonah, what's your question? Here we go. What magical power would be the coolest to have? All right, we all ready? Hang yep. on. All right. What are you, writing the spell? <laughs> <laughs> he's ready, he's ready. He's ready. We got three now. Okay, uh, all right, let's start with Matt, Matt right? what is it? I went literal and I said freeze breath. Yep. Ooh, freeze oh. breath is good. Is cool. Okay, um, uh, I went practical and chose instant plaid shirt Whoa. because I didn't get the memo that we were all supposed <laughs> to wear plaid shirts today. What, you didn't know it was and Mud Honey Day? I did not yeah, know yeah. it was Mud Honey Day. Touch us, so if I could just sort of, <laughs> if, if, if I was if I was able to just go plaid shirt and then I had one, I would feel like I fit in with you guys. Uh, I just went with awesome hair because I'm Whoa. reaching that point in life where I feel like oh, yeah. it's going to get steadily less awesome. So yeah. I'd like to lock that right. down. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, good call, good call. <laughs> All right, let's vote. Uh, I'm putting one on myself, but I'm also hedging with awesome hair because I too am at that point. Jonah's hair is already so awesome. I'm going with awesome hair because I want that. Uh, well, here's the thing, um, awesome hair, that's vanity. I don't want to go in for that. Who needs that? Instant plaid shirt, that's all I own. <laughs> <laughs> so you have that power in a way. Yeah, I do. I, you know, I'm very magical that way. Uh, so I'm going to go, even though I thought it was dumb, but in comparison <laughs> to your guys' choices, I'm going with freeze breath. Wow, yeah. freeze breath! At least dumb. Thank Congratulations. <laughs> uh, so that's two points for orange. Boom. I want to show you guys something now, because you think you're so smart. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Instant plaid shirt! <laughs> This is made of this is this is made from actual plaid shirts. I don't know if plaid shirts hold superpowers. They certainly hold a lot of heat in on your body. <laughs> All right, Matt, you're up. What would I want most for my birthday? Mm. Mm. This makes me wish I was a better friend to you. <laughs> Wait, how do you spell Banderas? <laughs> <laughs> John is now rewriting. <laughs> then in 1975, he wanted a Fonzie jacket. <laughs> My strategy for this game was mainly to uh, be funnier than Will and uh, make Matt feel like a piece of shit. John is playing very smartly. Josh, on the other hand, might be the dark horse. He's so far behind that he might trick us all right now and then win. In a game like this, where really your job is to make the judge laugh, I think Kagan is a huge, huge threat. Do not count him out just because he doesn't have a lot of points. We'll be right back. Who will win the game? I think the guy in the plaid shirt. Gentlemen. All right, everybody, we ready? Yeah. All right, Jonah, reveal your answer. Matt, I believe for your birthday, you would like the friendship of one Jonah Ray. <laughs> this says a lot about Jonah. Matt, I think I know you, uh -huh. as it turns out, better than your friend Jonah. <laughs> I think you want George Lucas's head and neck beard on a pike. Ooh. Oh. You know, freeze breath. <laughs> <laughs> Worked last time. Uh, also, I want to I wanna let you know, Matt, if you don't pick this, <laughs> then it's never going to be a possibility. The is yeah. off the tape. Exactly, oh, wow. yeah. In wow, this game man. and in life. This is harsh. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's committing to it before. I'm not going to lie, this is not a great selection of things because then you have a murder on your hands. Not necessarily. Oh, Someone fair. just gave it to you. Someone was like, hey, look what oh. fell off the back of a truck. 
I paid a lot on Sky Mall for that. Yeah. <laughs> Sky Mall has everything. They have everything. So you can't buy that in Sky Mall. No, you can't. No, you have to go. You have to go straight to Hammock or Schlemmer to get that. <laughs> Brookstown. Yeah. I come with a free massage chair <laughs> and a temper beating pillow. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Do you? <laughs> yeah, you didn't see. Uh, there's an asterisk here. Uh, <laughs> read the fine print. I'm hedging. All right. That just seems real right. Mm. Mm. You know how you sometimes give the gift you'd most like to you'd most like to receive. <laughs> I'm actually just going to change one of my votes. Yeah. All right, guys. Because of the massage chair. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. What's the best '80s movie? Oh. Mm. Intense. All right. All right. Uh, Matt? I will go first. Back to the Future. All right. Back nice, and you tried to do the logo there. Yeah, well, I threw oh, an arrow. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Very, very clever. I said John Carpenter's The Thing. Oh, oh. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a very good one. Wow. I also went with Back to the Future, but then I took the time to mention that this is a great answer because I've been trailing a little. <laughs> We have to make up a house rule on the fly. Um, I would say that if Back to the Future is chosen, it, you have to choose if the best movie of the 80s was Back to the Future or Back to the Future, This is a Great Movie, which, as you know, is a documentary that was made by a kid with a Betamax. <laughs> uh, where, yeah. um, Back to the Future is awesome. We all love it. Yeah. It's a great movie. Uh, the Thing is one of the best uh, horror movies of all time. Back to the Future, This is a Great Answer. It's not my favorite. <laughs> Go on. It's not my favorite movie. Back to the Future, awesome. Back to the Future, this is a great answer. Not the best. Uh, but I uh, am completely obsessed with John Carpenter's The Thing, and yeah. so that's what I went for. Oh, two points for me! Yeah. No. One point. Damn it, one point for me! Why did I trust myself? And Just one take point, the extra and one point, point, point for, for you, because sake. what you clearly need is more points. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's how Man, you win. Matt, you are good at this game. The fact that I'm doing so well right now is an anomaly. If I know anything about me, and I do, because I spent a lot of time with me, I'm gonna lose, because I lose everything. I think he's gonna choke, because uh, that's what he does in life, and that's what he'll do in the game. What kind of player is Matt? Tenacious, uh, effervescent, and uh, turmeric. What technology don't we have that you wish we did? Oh, easy. Uh, Jonah, you're up. Power lasers. Uh, all right. Matt, I know how much you enjoy the program Star Trek. Yes, I do. Oh, I know, you I were. You like I it. was trying to say. So I thought. So I thought you might enjoy a transporter. What? So you can go to the actual real Enterprise as my guest. He is shall I write the two points? Shall I write the vote. two points down now, or should we to wait to hear you. what no, Josh I mean, says? There is a now let answer. me just tell you something about the Enterprise, Matt. Oh please! Oh no, you <laughs> bastard! Hey, what? I'll let you hang out with me in public. Also, back to this. I'll let you hang out with me on the Enterprise. It doesn't exist. It doesn't <laughs> exist, Matt. <laughs> This is a it's good a real place. It's, oh, by the way, Kagan, you you still have a card to play. He's just trying to manipulate you. Go ahead, Kagan. Play your play your card. Sex robots. Sex robots. Sex robots. Listen, I know the answer rendered, to this question. Abso absolutely rendered unnecessary by the holodeck. holodeck. You, on the Enterprise that is, we will get to. Is there skin to skin contact on the holodeck? In, there, people there's, die listen, in the holodeck. There's skin to there's skin to matter contact. That's all. Yeah, that matters. that's all that matters. All right. Then, all right, let's place our bets. Bam, bam. <laughs> bam, bam. Will bam, utilized his bam. celebrity gravitas to manipulate Matt into giving him what he wanted, which was just to hang out on a fake space station. And I think that was, uh, was unfair. This is not the first time I've gotten something I wanted out of Matt with a promised trip to the holodeck. That is almost $27. I know, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But what about a sex robot and oh. a $2.50 <laughs> subway card? All right, go ahead. You've, I'm sure you've locked in your answer by well, now. Well, Jonah still has to put his chips so down. So Jonah has to put his chips I down. Let's find out how... The let's system see, does Jonah is want broken, to win? Well, the <laughs> Jonah, system has been broken. The point of the game is to know what the judge likes. And I know what he likes, and I know what's possible. This isn't possible. You're using your celebrity attitude to walk in here, big... 
swinging at the Enterprise? Well, his attitude Listen. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Just because I, I still believe in a, you a little bit, Matt. Well, in a town called Hope. Yeah. Oh, I want the points. All right. Matt. Let me explain a couple things here. First of all, power laces, don't need them on the Enterprise because all of our boots are awesome without that laces. That wasn't even That's in true. the reality. Second, second, that second. wasn't in the reality uh, until this uh, asshole uh, showed uh, up. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Sex robots, come on. It's a holodeck. I could go to France and fall in love with some lady. That's what I would do because I'm taking the transporter, everyone. How do you not We're going to have so down? much fun! We're you know, going on the Enterprise! We're going to play poker with yeah, Data? Data's there! Yep, we're going to do an emergency talking. saucer separation? I'm going to go to the battle bridge! You know what? It's going to be great. We're going to love it. Don't give me those points. <laughs> don't give me those points. You don't want them? No, don't want them. Don't you need really them. really don't want those I don't points. need your dirty points, Matt. Those aren't dirty points. Had you written Transporter, I would have taken it. You know I've never seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> My plans are to seek revenge on Will and make him cry. I'll take the cry over the win but you know, we'll see what happens. Before my turn, I'm going to award some arbitrary points. Oh. Arbitrary points. Congenious. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Jonah. Yes. Because you are playing with a hangover, I know you want three points, Yeah. but I feel that if I gave you those three points, I'd be a bad friend because I would be encouraging you to uh, go have another hangover. This oh, is a weird so, intervention. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna give you Stop two points. As much. Oh, just I'm two gonna points. give I'll you take two that. points. I'll take that. What kind of player is Jonah? He's every player, and he's also every woman. The end. Kagan. Hi. Because I love your Elvetica shirt, I'm going to give you three arbitrary points. Thank you, Will. You're very welcome. This game is all about knowing how to please the judge. The game was going well as I was winning, and then, sneaky bastard Will decided, oh, let's change the rules all around. My lead has diminished. I would like to point out that I did not give myself any arbitrary points. I get it, whatever. This is where I'm really shining, I feel like, the reading the question reading the off questions? the card. Yeah. <laughs> this, this really, you, you gotta find your strength in the game and play to it. What's been my favorite question so far? Uh, does anybody want breakfast? What's the most confusing <laughs> thing ever? What's the most confusing thing ever? I'm feeling really good about my answer. Have you been iffy up until this point? Yes. Yeah. In, fa in fact, I'm going to commit to two points on my answer Whoa. before I've even seen the other ones. That's how right. good I feel about Gentlemen, it. Gentlemen, are you that committed to your answer? You know what? I'll do it too. All right, I'm in. All right. All right, let's Ready? go. Display them. The most confusing thing ever. Flyer, two divided in a this is probably the most confusing thing ever. That's the uh, that's the theme to the first Bill Cosby show. Those are the lyrics. Flat is flat. Hick and burr. I really regret my decision. <laughs> uh, I have gone with the game we almost played. Frag. Frag. Uh, frag yeah. Okay. I think the most confusing thing ever is magnets. Also, oh, <laughs> also <laughs> juggalos. Oh, nice. You know, it's, I know, I know I lost. I know I lost. I feel like I should just go ahead. I feel like we should just go ahead and give you the points right now. Kagan? I, I gotta go with, uh, I gotta go with Flangus. Thing, yeah. John Cock right All right, cool. Mm. Sweet. And Jonah's that one puts Jonah one away from winning. And I believe it is my turn to judge. Ah, oh. <laughs> All right, uh, my question for you is, in my opinion, yeah. in Will Wheaton's opinion, what is the best Saturday morning cartoon ever? Holy uh, Matt, you're at a disadvantage here on account of you're so much younger than the rest of us. Yeah, well, Jonah's right. only a year older than me. Jonah he and He just Matt. looks older. You, uh, Jonah, you just look like you've been ravaged by alcohol. <laughs> yeah. I, love, look, I love my booze. You, I, I'm pretty sure I have. I have in my head what I think the right answer is. What is it? I'm not going to tell you. Oh. Damn it. All right. Okay, are you ready? All right, Jonah. All right. It's good for learning. It's good for being entertained. And it's good for rocking out. Schoolhouse Rock, I believe, is a great Saturday morning cartoon. Bonus points for putting the exclamation yes. point after the name. You yes. give him another bonus Bravo. point, he will win. <laughs> no, no. I'm actually going to take three points away <laughs> and give them right yeah. back. Yeah. All right, I've yours? I have combined a bunch of cartoons into yeah. one. Yeah. Wacky Racers. 
really, really good. Wow. Not to. It's wacky race says. That's, that says it. I just wrote it wrong. <laughs> oh, okay, fair uh, enough. I went with instead Super Globe Trotters. Oh, oh. Super Globe Trotters. And here's my defense was the yeah. <laughs> Okay. So I'm speak. locked in, so place your votes. I'm locked in, so place uh, your votes. Um, since I got room to spare. Oh, I see. You're playing a metagame. You can afford to take a chance. Yeah. 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 At the high school sure dance. Can. Yeah, that's right. Bravo. And I hope you take a chance at the high school dance or I'll never be born. So if I, <laughs> if I, if I go with And then the, Matt's not going to get his power laces. Yep. That's true, see? So what is he going to need when his precious holodeck? I have power laces in my officer's quarters yes. up on the Enterprise. Dickie, also, Dickie, also, Dickie, also, Dickie, also, Dickie. also, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. also, so also I just have a replicator that makes nothing but power laces. Oh my god. Yep. And you know what? I have a holodeck program where we can actually go be in. Back to the Future. This is the most excited I've ever seen him referencing his own show. <laughs> so every other day. Because like, honestly, ah. I'm thinking that actually sounds kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Jonah will win, regardless of if I put two here or two here. So I have to just go with two there. Hey, where's six your guns, man? Any chance? Yeah. All right, that's good. A victory. That's really good. Okay, so the Selectomatic 5000 has been locked in, and I have to say that I, I loved Wacky Races. I was so invested in Wacky Races. Uh, I actually had a, team, it, right? had a team that I cheered for. Snidely yeah, I actually, actually, actually had an intervention from my parents because they were like, you have to stop spending lunch money on who's going to win the Wacky Races. <laughs> um, but, but, but honestly, it's fixed. Schoolhouse Rock. Boom. Schoolhouse Rock. I listen to the Schoolhouse Rock CDs in my car with my kids. It's how I know the preamble to the Constitution. Uh, whenever Congress wants to do anything, I feel like, would you just watch this preamble to the Constitution? Because clearly you don't understand it. <laughs> Uh, so uh, Schoolhouse Rock actually wins, which means Jonah yes. Ray is the winner of Say Anything with 12 big, fat, mostly ill-begotten points. That's true. It was a like sloppy nine, start. Nine points and start. a couple of hangover points. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I started slow. But, you did. But look, Matt. You did, yeah. But, yeah, no, but I see that. Like, it's really good. <laughs> Jonah is a terrible player that only won because of fake, arbitrary points awarded to him. Let him have it. I mean, look at the dude. He'll need that in the upcoming years. After the apocalypse. He'll need that. Hi. No, Matt, look how many more X's I got than you. Gentlemen, my fellow not winners, I just wanted to say that joke's actually on Jonah. Because everybody on this couch is going to the holodeck. Yeah! Okay, it right. doesn't exist! It's not a real thing! He's still lying to it's you! It's not real like your victory wasn't real! My victory Boom. was real! Oh. Hey, have Go fun downstairs! Your, have fun on your imaginary playground, I will. weirdos! I will, because you're not there. Let's make him be in the holodeck, and then let's kill him. That's an awesome idea. I'll turn off the safety protocol. Oh, <laughs> so Alright, I'm gonna go see him in front of the victory wall. I'll see you guys on the Enterprise! Yeah! yeah! I know it's not real. That's like the Millennium Falcon, right? I think so. I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna make you even happier than you winning the game. No, what is it? Matt's really upset that you won the game. <laughs> no, I know it does. That's why I wanted to win. Because anyone else, you, you'd, you'd have fun. We had fun doing the thing, but Matt would genuinely get upset. Yeah, I think he's gonna be carrying it around for a while. I think so too. Uh, you also win the official Tabletop Trophy of Awesome. Oh, nice. This is an actual amazing trophy we had made for the show. It's not just a crappy cheerleading trophy that our intern Lindsay bought off of eBay for a dollar. No, it buy it now. doesn't look like it. Good, well, I'm gonna put your name on it then. I'm no, just writing it. Would you like to uh, say something to the camera? Maybe sure. tell the kids at home something special about your victory? Hey. This is your moment to shine. To all those kids out there that have a friend that might get a little high on his horse sometime with some points in the beginning of a game, just know that you can crush them. You can crush them and make them feel like shit. Believe in yourself, so they can't. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank I actually you. have to take the trophy back now because oh. we don't have enough money in the budget to give everyone their own. Okay. But look what you get. Hey. Now you can pretend you're on an elementary school field trip for the rest of the day. It's great. It's going to work really good at my AA meeting later on. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. Well, um, thanks, Jonah. Congratulations for winning on the show. And we'll see you guys next time on Tabletop. All right.